Back in stock. Okay, back in stock. You're probably like, wow, I remember this. This is old school. UDA 1334A I2S DAC. I really like this DAC. Low cost, really good quality from NXP. Got discontinued, and then during the part shortage, the chips were like $10 a piece. And I was like, I don't want to stock something if I have to make it $30. Um, but thankfully, the chip shortage is over. And uh, the folks who are trying to charge $10 are now charging about 50 cents. And so uh, even though I discontinued this, because I never thought I'd get chips again, I got chips again. These are back in stock. It wasn't that there was just a chip shortage. It's, just, it's that the vendors decided to say, well, we have some, but we're going to charge you a million times more. It was so dumb. And then we're going to make you commit to years of purchase. Anyways. Okay. Uh, okay. Next up. Silicon Bumper. This is a pre-release. We haven't gotten these. We got them on order. On the way. Um, for your Pi 5, you want this a cute little like rubber bumper? Rubber baby bumper From buggy? From the Pi... For the Pi team. Team. Okay. Next up. Um, we do have the 32 and 64 gigabyte uh, super high speed. They're called A2. Class 10. Um, this is good. SD cards. These are like, if you have a Raspberry Pi and you want like a card that the Raspberry Pi folks say, this is a card for your Pi that yeah. will work really well. They're a great price. We have both 32 gig and 64 gig. I got samples of each and I'm keeping them because uh, I'm going to use one of my Switch to store the Tears of the Kingdom ROM that I'm not able to get time <laughs> to play. But one day I will. Yeah. And what's great is, you know, we get asked like, oh, can you stock something like this and can you burn stuff on them for my Raspberry Pi? These Pie? come blank. Yeah. And so um, it's always a question of like, what's the best one, the most appropriate one? And this one for this sure, it. for sure, works with Raspberry Pis. Yep. Okay. Next up. Um. An updated version of the Hacko FX8888-0X. This is, I don't know the exact part number. I call it the FX8888. Not yellow and blue. Not yellow and blue. And now comes in a cool super cyber um, Terminator 2 look. I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, yeah. It's very cyberpunk. And uh, it's just as good as before, but now in silver. I just bought a... Um... A tea kettle warmer thing, and I got it in the same color, so uh, I think I might get this. Yeah, you it'll, it'll put, match. You could put the um, the tip into your hot water to heat up the coffee. Right. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay, uh, and then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady, our team, our customers, everyone who's sharing open source good stuff and more is... Dun, 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 from uh, our 3D Hangouts team, Noe and Pedro, they've designed this awesome case for the Feather RP2040 with USB host on the end. Um, this is great if you want to do USB host experimentation, you want to do HID remapping, you want to control devices and make them compatible without having to run like driver code on uh, Windows or Mac or Linux computer. You can have it like connect to any kind of USB device. Um, we've done a bunch of projects with this and having a case is really great. So this is a snap-on case. Um, you get the reset and uh, boot button access. Um, there's a slot for the battery. There's a slot for the STEMI QT. Um, there's a little spot for the NeoPixel to shine out from and the USB host on the end. So I know Liz is going to be doing a project that will take advantage of this case. And I just love having little um, enclosures that are 3D printed, available in small quantities um, for some of the more popular boards. And that is new products. Hey, new, 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 new.